Okay, so hello and welcome. In this video, I want to share a very interesting and easy to use backtesting library called backtesting.py. We are going to code a very simple crossover strategy and also take a look at optimization. First of all, we need to make sure we have installed the library by typing in pip install backtesting. So you see in my case, the requirement is already satisfied. We also need TA, which is a library taking care of calculating technical indicators. I've covered that in previous videos and as you see the requirement is also already satisfied. We also need Y Finance to just pull price data for stocks, cryptocurrencies, forex, whatever you want to backtest. And also I've already installed that library. So let's import some necessary libraries. First of all, Y Finance, TA, Pandas and stuff from the backtesting library, namely backtests and strategy. And also we need to import from backtesting lab, we need the crossover. Now let's define our strategy. So we are going to create a class, which we are just calling SMA cross. And this is inheriting from strategy, which we've imported above here. Now we want to define the short term simple we average window and the long-term SMA window, right? So short-term window, let's say we're just taking 50 days or time step, whatever interval you are considering here. And long-term is 100 time steps or days in our case. And now we are defining in it. And first of all, we are defining our close price using the data and access the close column. So we are going to provide the data in some seconds. Now we are defining the SMA one. So the short term SMA using I, which is simply the method where we are providing the calculation of the simple weight average. And I'm going to take the TA library for the calculation. So I'm just taking the SMA indicator function from the trend functions here. And here I'm providing the column where I want to calculate that on and I'm taking the close and I have to transform that to a series first, otherwise it wouldn't work. So I'm going to provide the close and of course I need the window and the window for the short term SMA is simply my n1 here. So I'm going to take self n1. Same logic for the long term SMA. Simply doing some renaming here. And with that, I have initiated my technical indicator calculation. Next, I'm going to define the event. And we are using next for that provide self. And now we are simply telling the function that we want to buy when we have a crossover of the short term crossing the long term simple we average, or in other words, a golden cross. And yeah, then we want to buy. And if we have a crossover of the long term crossing the short term as may, we want to sell. So it's Pretty much straightforward. We are just using crossover, which we've imported above here. Provide the short term SMA defined here and the long term SMA defined here. And if that's the case, we want to buy. Same logic for the cell. So I'm simply copy pasting here and changing this to the long term and this to the short term and sell otherwise. Right, so this is working pretty similar to back trader. I've also covered that on my channel, uh, where you are simply just checking every row, right? And then you're going to the next row, check if there is a crossover, next row, crossover, next row, crossover, and so on, right? So same logic, this is simply checking every row of the provided data here. And that's already it for our strategy. So pretty similar to Backtrader, but even more simple than that. 
Now to run our backtest, it's pretty much straightforward. We are defining BT backtest and now we are using backtest, which we have imported above here. And now we are providing data, which we have to pull beforehand, right? So I'm going to store the pull data in a variable DF for data frame. And I'm going to download price data for the Bitcoin. You can also take stocks, Forex, whatever you're interested in. And I'm going to start in the beginning of 2018. Okay, so with that, I'm getting price data for Bitcoin, which I'm simply feeding to the backtest. Then we need to define the strategy. So this is simply our class name, SMA cross. And we need to set an initial cash amount, just taking 100K here set the commission per trade to 0.2% and to avoid overlapping orders, I'm setting exclusive orders to true. That's already it. So we can run the back test, storing that in an output variable and simply typing BT run. And with that, we're getting the results of the strategy on the Bitcoin since since when? Since the beginning of 2018. Right, so very nice, very dense information here. Return in comparison with buy and hold return, volatility, sharp ratio, maximum drawdown, and so on. Number of trades, winning rate, best trade, worst trade, and so on. So as you see, very nice. You can directly see a lot of information. So yeah, definitely check out this library. Now let's get, so first of all, before we are getting to the optimization part, let's plot. So we can also visualize our strategy by simply typing in bt.plot. And now we are getting the information we just saw in a visualized way, right? So this is the equity curve. We have the PNL here, so green, uh, uh, profitable trades, red are uh, losing trades here. And we have our uh, price chart below here, right? Including the moving average lines here. Very nice, right? Now let's get to the optimization part. So what would be the goal of our optimization? We want to find the best pair of SMAs to get the EG highest return, highest win rate, or whatever optimization objective you are picking. So we are defining an optimization output using BT optimize. And now we are passing a range of short term simple moving averages using N1. We call it that like this. And we are simply taking a range from 50 to 150 and we are just checking every 10 days, right? So 50, 60, 70, and so on. Same for the long-term simple moving average, 50 to 150, 10 days. And we also wanna only have those combinations where we have at least 20 days difference between the long-term and short-term simple moving average. Why am I doing that? Because otherwise we would get basically non-divergent lines, right? So, and I don't want to have those combinations. I want to have a at least distance of 20 days. So I can do that by finding a constraint here using a Lambda function. And I'm simply taking the difference now. So I want to check only where N2 and N1 have a difference of at least 20, right? So X N2 minus X, and one should be larger than 20. And we have to define what we want to maximize. So I'm talking about this table here, so you can maximize everything in this table. And let's start with the return. We had 73 here. So we want to maximize the return. Okay, 
and we also want to plot the optimized. And you see now the optimization is running and we are getting 100 and 140 as the optimal um, SMAs here. So if I'm printing out Optimir, you will see that now I'm getting this insane return, right? So you should definitely take a closer look here because this is probably driven by one trade. Here it is. So yeah, be cautious with that. So let's play a bit around with some other metrics here. So let's maximize the win rate. So currently it's 70%. So simply copy pasting the win rate here and pass that to our optimization function. So let's take a look at that. And as you see now, we should pick 110 and 140, getting a winning rate of 75%, right? And so on, you can check that for sharp ratio or whatever you are interested in, all right? And yeah, let's finally just check out some other assets. So let's take the S&P 500, Pass that here and run our optimization function. 50 and 80, we should trade what would we get. And here you see we have a negative return here, right? And only a 50% winning rate. So can we get any better? Take a look, 80 and 150. No, also we are not beating the buy and hold return. But I mean, you can play around with that for yourself, right? I found this very easy to use, very nice. And I just wanna share that with you. So let me know if you are interested in, yeah, a deeper dive here or in a more complex strategy. So, yeah, looking forward to your feedback and thank you very much for watching and I'm looking forward to see you in the upcoming videos. Bye bye.